Good. So uh, thank you, Turbjörn. Thank you, LG, for inviting me here. It's really an honor to be here. And uh, so my name is Johan Juselius. I come from Finnish Communications Regulatory Authority. So I think I'm the first civil servant here today. And uh, I'm head of products and services in our agency. And uh, I think this uh, dot .fi is the uh, major service uh, me and my team are responsible for there. So it's the important part of our agency. Uh, there are about 12 people working for uh, as full day for domain names in our registry, and uh, we have been responsible for uh, .fi domain names uh, since 1997. We got administrative role that uh, year, and uh, in 2002 we got technical role running, operating fully this uh, CCTLD. Let's see if this works. It works. Good. Uh, here you can see this uh, blue uh, line. Actually, it's not line. It's a blue curve in the middle of the screen. It's number of the registered .fi domain names. Uh, it's almost like a line, and uh, there are only very few exceptions in it, and I can even name them all. Uh, the first uh, exception here, this, oh, I'm sorry, wrong button, here. There was a small increase in 2005. Uh, it was the moment when we launched IDNs. And then a few years later, uh, we opened registrations for private persons, getting small additional increase for registrations. And then there are two drops next. And uh, these drops, uh, they are because of the Domain Name Act. So we have a special law in Finland for domain names, and uh, this law became into force in 2003. And according to this uh, law, all uh, domain names that were registered earlier or on the same day when this uh, law was implemented got a three-year period of validity. So whatever was this uh, initial term or validity, they got three more years when this uh, law became into force. And therefore, after three years uh, after this uh, law in, in 2003, uh, I mean, this, uh, this law became into force in 2003, and so after three years in 2006, and then after another three years in 2009, we got a, well, quite remarkable drop in our registrations. But uh, it was just due to this uh, special day when the huge amount of domain names expired on the same day, basically. So these drops are those domain names that were not renewed on that day. Uh, then on the graph, there are two more drops, but uh, actually they are not real drops. Uh, we changed our reporting system and reporting processes on those days, so uh, nothing happened really there. And since uh, January 2013, we, had, we have had really stable growth. Uh, it's almost like a line. So I put there on the screen straight uh, red line for comparison. So it's really close to our actual number of registrations. Our annual growth during the past 12 months uh, between October 2014 and October 2015 was 5.7%, which was quite nice. Uh, we do have a lot of registrars roughly 2,600. But uh, quite many of them are quite small. So those uh, registrars with uh, less than 1,500, oh, sorry, those are, we have 1,500 registrars with less than 10 domains. And we have uh, 2,300 registrars with less than 100 domains. So a lot of small registrars. But we have big ones as well. So we have 56 registrars with more than 10,000, or actually, sorry, with more than 1,000 domains. 56 registrars with more than 1,000 domains. And the five biggest registrars, there are Nebula, Elisa, Lohinet, Suomen Hosting, Palvelu, and Askio Technologies. So four biggest registrars, they are from Finland. And three uh, of those four registrars are pure hosting companies. And uh, some recognized trend very recent trend is that international registrars are coming more and more interested in selling .fi domain names as well. Uh, 
Uh, this slide is about the market share of registrars. So uh, the biggest five registrars are having market share of 28%. Uh, 10 biggest are having market share of 44% and top 20 is having 60%. Then about the registrations, so uh, we have more than 377,000 domain names right now. And the renewal rate, well, uh, all I can say it's, it's, it's quite high, but I don't know for sure how, how high is it, because uh, this uh, <coughs> calculation of this uh, renewal rate is a very new feature in our reporting system, and we have not verified this uh, actual value, so it might be that number I have here, but it might not be, but all I can say, it's, it's, it's quite high. And a uh, .fi domain name can be registered for one, three or five years, and this uh, one-year option is uh, really the most popular one, both for registrations and for renewals as well. And the price for a uh, one-year registration is 12 euros now. And this is the first year when we bypass 4 million euros turnover uh, level. Uh, then a few words about holders. So we have more than 200,000 holders right now. And on average, one holder has 1.87 domain names. 14% uh, of domains are owned by private persons. And then some other statistics. Uh, so we launched IDNs uh, in 2005, and uh, we have about 10,000 of them nowadays. So it's 3% of, of the old domain names we have. We also did launch DNSSEC a couple of years ago, and uh, we have 274 signed domain names. So I'm not talking about thousands, but simply 274 domains. So it's not that much, and we are still waiting for DNSSEC to become a success. Uh, well, then a few words about holders more. So the origin of the holders, according to the Domain Name Act, only Finnish organizations and uh, Finnish private persons are allowed to have .fi domain names. So the official truth is that 100% of our holders are located in Finland, but According to our database, it's not necessarily the case. So, so uh, the most typical lawbreaker or criminal <laughs> comes from Sweden. <laughs> but uh, well, also there are those lawbreakers in, in other Nordic countries and neighboring countries as well. So you are not alone, don't worry. And the market share, uh, this, uh, this is based on center statistics. And uh, according to, the, to this uh, information, our market share is 53%, uh, which is quite a nice level compared to other Scandinavian countries, except .dk. And we have a lot of .coms, .nets in Finland, and uh, my best guess, it's not a knowledge, it's my best guess, that these uh, dot .coms, dot .nets, uh, they were registered during the early 2000s when we had very strict rules for getting a .fi domain name. So there were a lot of, lot of people, a lot of organizations that couldn't get a .fi domain name, so they were have to choose .com or .net. But uh, if you walk on the streets in Helsinki or read Finnish newspapers, so uh, you can hardly see any other internet addresses than those ending with .fi. So I would say that our visible market share is it's very high. And then about new GTLDs, so uh, there are about 7,000 new GTLDs registered in, in Finland. And the most, uh, or the biggest uh, TLDs are .club, .xyz, and .online in Chinese. And I think this dot .online in Chinese, it's on that list because the registry is owned by Finns, so maybe they bought their own domain names as well. But those new GTLDs, they are not uh, visibly used at all in Finland. I have seen only once one new GTLD in use in Finland, and that was uh, during very international Schloss event two weeks ago. 
so probably it was not owned by Finns. And what is the reason why there has not been any more success for new GTLDs? I think it's, it's uh, up to the registrars because they do not offer new GTLDs automatically. I think they uh, offer them by request, but it's not the default. <coughs> and now this was my last slide about statistics. I will a bit move forward uh, to our new business model. Uh, we are going to have a similar kind of change in a year that .sc had in 2009. Uh, it's not exactly the same kind of change because we are not changing only, uh, only our processes, but we are going to change our policies as well. And uh, one of the biggest reasons, not the only one, but one of the biggest, are those new GTLDs, of course, because uh, we have not seen them yet, but uh, it's quite sure that they, they will cause the increased competition at some day. And also, uh, those uh, when they are popping up, they will change the rules of the, our industry anyway. So something uh, needs to be done. And therefore, uh, quite many years ago, we already drafted uh, changes to our Domain Name Act because everything we do is written in the law. So we have to change the law when we want to change our own, our own things. So we propose those changes to our ministry and ministry uh, proposed those uh, changes to the parliament and parliament passed the law and now this new law is about to come into force September 5th, 2016. So just remember that day, September 5th, 2016. It's a big day for us. And what are the changes? Uh, we're going to move to pure registr registrar model, so we're going to stop serving direct customers. Uh, and we are not going to set up any .fi direct service like .sc did. So we are just going to stop serving direct customers and that's it. And we're going to have full liberalization at the same time. So we are not requiring any age limits for private persons anymore. We are not requiring any local presence anymore. So everyone everywhere can have a .fi domain name, even those uh, lawbreakers in Sweden or everywhere. And we are not requiring name servers anymore from domain names, and uh, we are not going to have any list of restricted names anymore. We're going to have EPP as standard as possible on that day, and we're going to allow secondary markets as well. Nowadays, secondary markets are only partly allowed, but in the future, we have no restrictions for them anymore. And from registrar point of view, we're going to have a very simple accreditation process and we are not collecting any fees from registrars. But there's always this one but. We're going to have very strict new security requirements. And uh, <coughs> I want to also highlight that uh, there's one thing that won't change. It's the protection of trademarks and company names. So, so they will remain protected in the future as well. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can ask them here or maybe afterwards after this session as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, Giovanni. Welcome. I'm a criminal or? <laughs> <laughs>